101.5 FM. Do you know, I was just thinking before, we're coming up to nearly five years doing this radio program, Tracy and the Big D, and it's been very exciting. We've got to meet some wonderful people. But I do remember the first interview that I ever did. And the first interview, and I won't mention the gentleman's name, but it was like extracting teeth. This guy just wouldn't talk. He wouldn't answer. I just hope I don't have the same issues with my next guest. <laughs> I'm laughing already. I'm jo- laughing already, Dan. <laughs> Joining me on the phone is the beautiful Celine McAllister. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm so well. It's not funny. I told Tracy next time I interview Celine, that's what I'm going to say. Well, that was extra, and everybody now knows they who knew who you were talking about before. You even had to say my name. <laughs> <laughs> they In all. A nice way. <laughs> they all knew. How are you, darling? It's great to catch up with you. Oh, look, I'm so good, and I feel like that this is, you know, we, we just get to chat all the time, but um, I'm so glad to be talking to you this week because we've got, uh, I've had a wonderful week and lots coming up, so I really want to tell you all about it. Well, we'll get to the uh, the rise stage at Urban very shortly, yes. but um, something that, uh, that you're a part of and something that's fairly dear to my heart, I've got a lot of family... Um, family out around Mundubra Way that were, were devastated during the last floods. And yes. uh, you're going to be giving something back to the community. Why don't you tell us about that? Oh, look, I was so pleased when uh, we had this opportunity to uh, you know, go and perform. We've got some fantastic flood relief concerts uh, coming up. And then they're in the major areas that really were affected. So tomorrow night we'll be in Laidley, uh, then on Saturday night Chinchilla and Sunday Mundubra all supporting the Red Cross and the community. It's a gold uh, coin donation to get in. And, of course, some great entertainment myself, uh, you know, some wonderful other acts that are going to be there as well and just all doing it for charity. And you know what? It's good for the soul. It's good for the soul. And, uh, you know, I want to meet some of these people and, and have a chat. And if something I can do makes it better, then I'm totally happy to help. So, uh, what sort of show are the um, uh, are those lucky people uh, going to be in store for? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'm actually going to preview a couple of songs from my new album, which is going to be released in July. So uh, they'll be getting that, and of course, uh, my all gorgeous uh, "Guilt Free," which I love singing, and just something really upbeat and uh, to take their mind off all the troubles. So, uh, you know, something to get them up dance, and that's what I want anyway. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, Celine McAllister, I have I have <laughs> heard some preview off the, the new song and the, oh, yes. the new album, and I can tell yes. you that uh, anyone with kids, if there is a dry <laughs> eye in the house after <laughs> three, three, three I, f- the name forgets me, Tracy always remembers. Three Little Lives. Three Little Lives. If there <laughs> yes. is a dry house after three, a dry eye in the house after three little lives, um, <laughs> I uh, I think you probably need to um, go and check that your tear ducts are working or something. Cause, <laughs> well, cause we'll try and keep it a little bit upbeat tomorrow night, so I probably won't hit him with that one, but, um, you know, that'll be future shows. <laughs> well, I can tell you because my uh, my bottom lip was was wavering and, and I looked over and I saw my um <laughs> uh, my wife just tearing away. She goes, "Oh, she's got me crying again." <laughs> so, so there you go. But well, um so you said uh, you said July for the new album? Yes, I'll be releasing I will be releasing the first single at Urban uh, on the on the Rise stage and on the Village stage, but I had a wonderful week down because I was down in Sydney recording the tracks um we've i've laid four four tracks for the new album so far and i just had so much fun um it was fantastic so we've got very exciting things to come yes okay now you we mentioned the rise stage this is yes. going this is huge this is absolutely is huge. huge um for those who aren't familiar with the rise stage so far what's happened and and what tends to happen is at, at an urban country and and probably a lot of country music festivals mm. you've got yes. you've got the main stage and then between between acts so lee kernigan goes off or troy casadaly goes yes. off or amber lawrence goes off mm-hmm. and there's a bit of a lull isn't there while the band yes. change over and they've got mm-hmm. to put different microphones on so there's no germs or anything like that and they do <laughs> 
<laughs> they do all of, they do all of these little things that they they have to do and get the sound right. And so the yeah. audience just sitting there who don't want to get up and don't want to move are there, and they're just yeah. listening to a bit of a bit of um, track music, a bit of elevator music, yeah. aren't they? That's so, right. So now, not this year. This year they're going to be able to uh, to just have a look at look over and the rise stage just is going to be there. Maybe look to their right, maybe yeah. Maybe just a little look to the right, and then you're going to see the rise stage. People like uh, Nathan Williams, Sister yeah. Burley. Um, mm-hmm. uh, Jesse Davis, yes, um, and and my very very good friend Jess Holland. Jess Holland will be there, of course, and yes. the wonderful Celine McAllister. So that's going to be that's going <laughs> to be there. fantastic. You must um, you must be pretty excited about that. I am really excited about it because um, Urban is obviously a festival that's very close to my heart because I'm a Brisbane girl, and you know I'm I'm that you know that. Uh, north of Brisbane so when Urban comes around I, I love being a part of it because um, you know it, it gets that hometown vibe and that's really wonderful you know uh, so to be selected to go on to the rise stage because there's a lot of artists that could be chosen and I was very very blessed to be chosen uh, to be one of those artists um, and I can't wait it's going to be absolutely fantastic and I am on at 9 o'clock 9pm so okay. I'm going to have a, a a great, a great, great crowd, and we're going to rev them up and uh, you know get them all warmed up for the next act. So um, I'm very much looking forward to it. Less talking, more singing on the rise stage. That's for sure this year. <laughs> that'll be that'll be fantastic. So make sure that's a, that's just another reason if you haven't got your tickets already, make sure you do because uh, you're going to see some sensational local talent from the uh, from the Moreton Bay region and beyond uh, yes. performing there. Because I, I can vouch for every one of those uh, those performers. They've uh, they've certainly got um, got talent uh, in spades, haven't they? Oh well, that's right. And just the opportunity to have that exposure it is really I mean, it's fantastic you know so and i know all of that as i said i know all of the, the artists who are on the rise stage um you know as well and i know that they're all as excited as i and um you know can't wait to get up there and, and uh you know lock the fox off anyone who'll let them <laughs> well guilt free is the name of the ep that's out there at the moment yes, yes. and um, it's been very very good to me guilt free it, um it's, it's going to be yeah now, um, how's it gone on uh, on iTunes? Really well, actually. Um, I, I was a little late to iTunes. I was a more of a... Um, I've always been one of those people who love having the product in their hands, mm-hmm. you know? And uh, so when I would be out doing gigs, you know, people would buy the EP. Yeah, iTunes is going really well. And, I, you know, all the different reverb and all that sort of stuff, my husband has a lot to do with that. I, I look over his shoulder and go, oh, that's great. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> you know, so he's the computer guy. But, yeah, no, really well on iTunes. I do believe, uh, you know, just from the work that I've been doing with, uh, you know, Mike Carr and uh, Simon Johnson and Drew McAllister this last three days, um, Guilt Free is about to get probably, you know, knocked over for a minute. We've got some new stuff coming. <laughs> well, I have to confess, I love Guilt Free. I think yes, it's a I great do, song. Yeah. But you know what my favourite song is off the, the EP? It's Worth the Wait. I just oh, yes. love that yes. song. So we're going to go out with Worth the Wait. And, awesome. Um, it's going to be Worth the Wait to, to, to catch up with Celine McAllister at the Rise stage. And don't forget, if you've Fantastic. got friends or someone that's listening out around Laidley, you can uh, you can yes. organise it there. I know we've got some listeners out around the uh, the Chinchilla yep. Dolby area as well. So you can certainly um, get in there for Saturday. Uh, that's Saturday night at Chinchilla, is it? Yes, Saturday night and uh, Saturday night Chinchilla, tomorrow night Laidley, and of course um, also Mandabra on Sunday. Don't forget, too, if you're in the Woodford area, um, I'm also performing at the Mini Muster Angel Fight later on Friday night. So, wow. um, yes, there's no rest. My mother said to me once that there's no rest for the wicked. Well, I don't know what I did, but um, I'm certainly not getting any rest. <laughs> well, everywhere you see, there's uh, there's some Celine McAllister. So that is, <laughs> that's fantastic. It's worth the wait, Celine.